after understanding the market model price expectations for its framework and its solution and the possible cases of the complementary function now we are going to solve it numerically so in the book of alpha c chang there is one example which is on page number 530 uh, and the demand and supply functions are given in it so this is the demand function and this is the supply function you can see that there are no price expectations on the supply side uh, which is uh, as per the initial supposition in our model that we developed so uh, sa same formula can be used here however p naught and p bar naught are given because in second order differential equations we have two initial conditions one is the uh, original function other is the derivative function so we are trying to find out the time path so primarily we should extract the values by comparing it with the standard forms of the QD and QS equations so QD and QS in the standard forms they look like this and now we can compare them these are the two equations that are given here by comparison we get alpha beta m and n and gamma delta u and w are also found so we have listed the values by their comparison here our focus is on the value of n and m because we know that these are crucial in determining the nature of roots as well as the dynamic stability of the time path so n is in the double box which means that this has the pivotal importance as we understood in the last video and this also has importance though it is secondary in nature so if we talk about the pivotal factor that is n uh, it shows that it is a positive value one one is a positive value so when n is positive from the last video we remember that it is uh, only a distinct real root case other two cases cannot be possible in this uh, situation where n is positive and we will have two roots definitely they will be distinct r1 and r2 they will not be equal first one will be positive and the other one will be negative and it, since there is a positive root dynamic stability will be endangered for that we uh, have to consider that a1 is equal to 0 so that this term disappears and only the negative root remains in the yc function and it becomes dynamically stable due to exponential decay so let us see that how it is possible we are trying to solve this for the distinct real root case the roots are found using the same quadratic formula that we have learned before in the last video we saw that various values were substituted which were these so here we have the values of m and n we have the value of beta we have the value of delta we have the value of n so putting all of these values that you just saw at the top of the screen you extracted these values now they are being put and the roots are found and as you can see r1 is a positive value and r2 is a negative value as we uh, know that whenever n is positive this thing will happen so we are putting these values in the uh, general formula general solution this is the complementary part this is the particular integral so r1 is substituted r2 is substituted and then we uh, find the solution this is the solution right we can easily solve this this is the particular integral the equilibrium value which is a static equilibrium now definitizing the general solution by introducing the initial conditions you know that these a's that is the arbitrary constants they are never welcome we want to definitize them to get the definite solution so uh, initial condition can be introduced instead of t we can write 0 and when we do so the value of p0 is given in the question which was 6 this will be reduced to 1 so will be this and we get an equation in terms of a1 and a2 now we can use the other initial condition which is p naught bar naught you know that already that we can do this by differentiating p t and then putting t is equal to 0 so the first step is to differentiate it to make it p bar t so this is the derivative you can pause the video and you can do these calculations and verify if these are correct 
this is simple differentiation that you have learnt in your previous courses. So, this is p bar t and to make it p bar naught is very easy by introducing t is equal to 0. So, uh, when we did this we have this p bar naught which is given in this equation in this question where t uh, is substituted equal to 0 and its effects will be seen that these terms will become 1 because the power is now 0 and as we talked about p bar naught this value is given which is 4. So, now we have an equation in terms of a 1 and a 2. These are the two uh, variables uh, in this case unknowns and uh, their values they can be found by solving this equation and the equation that we found by using p naught in the last step. Since they are both in terms of a 1 and a 2 solving them simultaneously these two equations is, is a very easy thing to do and we have done this by doing them uh, solving them in a simultaneous way. So, a 1 and a 2 are found you can pause the video and you can do these simple calculations a 1 and a 2 are found we can put them in, in their respective values a 1 and a 2. So, these are the uh, results of the um, time path of the market model with price expectations where n is positive, where the distinct real root case is the only possibility. We can write the interpretation here, since n is greater than 0, so dynamic stability will be absent and only possibility is that a 1 becomes 0, which in this case it is not, it is equal to 1. So, dynamic stability cannot be possible with this possible positive root here that is 6 and that is why there will be dynamic instability in this definite solution. Graphically we can uh, visualize it. This is the graph that will tell us about the situation. This is the um, possible curve that can come into being because we have plotted this line and it is like this. So, we can see that one of the roots is there visible which is this that root which is 6 and it is showing that there is an intersection at y axis giving us that root and in the negative domain this is the lowest value as you can see this is the negative side of the um, x axis. Now, the equilibrium is 4 let us go back and see the equilibrium is 4 and um, as you can see that equilibrium is uh, somewhere below this point the value 4. So, we are not getting close to that we are getting away and away from that. It means that the dynamic stability is definitely not being achieved in this situation as we found in case of the roots that were um, uh, you know positive and negative and the value of n was positive. So, in this way we can solve uh, numerically the market model with price expectations. This was one of the cases that is DDR or DRR distinct real root case, but in the next video we will learn about the complex root case uh, of the market model with price expectations. Thank you.